All right, hey, what's going on, guys? How do you do with your boy Gray here? Welcome back into the channel. In today's video, as you guys already know, man, there is a brand new update here in Call of Duty World War II. Everything is officially changed. Like divisions, best class setups, the way you the way you set up your classes is officially changed. You gotta renew, you gotta renew everything, you gotta do everything differently, you gotta think differently when you're doing your class setups. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you my brand new go-to class setup. This is this is what I've been asking for for ever since the game i was gonna say for for a while now no ever since the game came out i've been asking to be able to do something like this this is my go-to class setup guys the stealthy run and gun is back i'm back baby doll. so real quick man if you guys are brand new into the channel don't forget to subscribe for more daily content definitely squat up man i haven't said that in a while squat up um if you guys are brand new definitely subscribe turn on notifications uh, hit the like button, man. Hit the like button on today's video. It would really help out a lot. Make sure you click on that like button for me. Um, I mean, you guys, stealthy, the stealthy running gun. The last time I did this particular class setup, something like this, was back in the early days. Back when I first started doing YouTube, it was on my YouTube channel. This is my stealthy run and gun. And you know what, man? In my experience from playing this game, I've been playing this game for hours. I've been trying out different class setups. I've been trying out to see like what works with what and how can I make the best out of a stealthy class. So I came to find that you could actually do different class setups that are considered stealthy run and gun. So today, guys, I'm going to show you version one of my stealthy run and gun class. And throughout the week or throughout the month or so, I'll say I don't want to do it too close to each other. Throughout the month here, guys, I'll be introducing you to the other versions of the stealthy run and gun. Now, I'm telling you guys. This is honestly like this is what I've been waiting for since Call of Duty World War II came out. We have not been able to do anything like this before. I mean, you got you got a little close with airborne division and flanker, and you putting a silencer on your weapon. You got a little close doing that, but still, if uh, for example, if you were standing still and the enemy had a UAV up, you would still appear up on the mini map, and that's where that's where the awesomeness of mountain division comes in. But guys, I'm telling you, this class setup that I'm going to show you today. This is your boy. This is like, this is your boy Gray's. Like, this is the class that I've been, oh, this is what I've been waiting for, man. Like, you're going to see a, like, I don't know. I've personally seen a complete 180 turn on my gameplay. Like, ever since I've been able to do this with my class setups, I have been able to turn up and just, I don't know, just, I feel, remember, I don't know if you guys know, I always talk about that thing of control. Like, I haven't felt a sense of control in this game. I don't know, man. Lately, ever since the class setup in the last couple of matches, you guys are going to see, man. I just been feeling I've been in the zone man. I've been feeling this class setup very very much and um, I'm hoping I, I, ho I hope that the proof is going to be in my KD uh, prior to the update guys prior to the update to this uh, division overhaul my KD was like a 1.16 um, and I want to see what my KD is going to be f like from a, uh, like a month or two from now I want to show you guys like I want to show you what the difference is there man if I could actually restart everything here I probably would but I don't want to lose all the variants that I have and stuff so I, I'd rather not I'd rather just work off what I got man we're gonna build that K KD up so so guys make sure to stick around for the gameplay we got some crazy kills and I'm telling you man like the enemy just did not know what was hitting them bro like it, I, ah, I definitely feel good about it man the stealth king is officially back man and I just I couldn't be happier man so once again guys this is going to be version one of my stealthy run and gun and uh, I will be presenting stealthy run and gun versions like one two three and maybe even a fourth or fifth one if I could if I could actually really make it work so guys with all of that said let's get into the class setup here and then we'll get into the gameplay and everything and uh, let's do it, man. Here we go. Before we get into this, guys, I just want to explain that I will be going into details on why I'm using what I'm using so that you guys can get a better understanding of why I'm running the things the way I'm running. All right. It's going to be it's going to be real detail oriented. And um, yeah, one thing I want to one thing I want to express real quick, guys, um, for the pistol here, I don't have the suppressor unlocked yet. I haven't really I don't really play with my pistol. So I don't feel like it's necessary, but um, for this class to be complete, you definitely want to put the suppressor on the pistol to make it a complete uh, a silent run and gun or stealthy run and gun class setup. But unfortunately, I don't have the suppressor unlocked. So uh, just keep in mind, like, if you do have your suppressor unlocked, definitely throw it on. As soon as I unlock it, man, I'm going to be putting it on there. But unfortunately, at the moment, I don't have uh, the suppressor unlocked. All right, guys. So let's get into the steak sauce. Let's get into my steak sauce, my A1, my number one class setup. This is my go-to setup here. And man, I've been playing, honestly, I've been playing with this class setup alone for like the last hour and a half. Just 
bodying people out there, man. They don't even know, they don't even understand what hits them. So guys, let's start it off with the main attraction here, the Mountain Division here. This is why I'm running the Mountain Division. Invisible to enemy recon no matter what, and control streaks no matter what, guys. Even if you're standing still, you will not appear up on a mini-map. Uh, killed enemy uh, death locations will be hidden. So if you kill an enemy right next to another enemy, he won't have any idea of what just happened. Unless they're communicating, unless they're talking with each other, he won't have any idea of what the hell just happened. So it's just, oh man, it's so cool. You're going to see it happen a few times uh, in the gameplay. I'm going to kill somebody and they're not even going to know like which way it's coming from. So um, aside from that, guys, number three, no name or reticle change when the enemy is aiming at you. So I mean, that's that's just a plus right there. And finally, guys, silent movement. You're going to have dead silence. You're, nobody will be able to hear you running up on them. Man, I don't know, man. I'm just so I'm so giddy about this class that appear, man, about this mountain division. So starting things off with the mountain division, guys. Next thing that I'm gonna go to is let's go to basic training, guys. Here's here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to basic training, and then I'm gonna show you exactly why I'm running what I'm running. So for basic training, I'm using forage. This is the class setup that I'm, I'm going with here. This is version one of my uh, stealthy running gun, okay? I'm running Forage here because it'll help us resupply bullets from killed enemies and over time. So you can actually pick up bullets from over time uh, from enemies and from other people laying on the floor that are dead. Um, and you get, an, you get a bonus. You get an extra magazines. So that's a bonus right there. You get extra. You get extended magazines, guys. So on top of that, guys, we, we now have uh, Forage or, uh, you know, formerly known as Scavenger. So now we have... We have Mountain Division, we have Forage, right? Our weapon of choice, my weapon of choice, is the MP40. Now, you guys can go with this with any submachine gun that you guys feel comfortable using. For me, guys, it's the MP40 Wunderwaffe variant. The Wunderwaffe variant for me is probably the go-to variant. I really hope one of these days I get the Wunderwaffe too so I can get that 15% and just my gun looks shiny and stuff like that. But we're going with the MP40 Wunderwaffe, guys. This class setup is insane, man. So with the Wunderwaffe, with the MP40 here, guys, we're going to do advanced rifling so that we can get a little bit of extended range in our damage. Following that, guys, we're going to put the SMG suppressor attachment on there. Why? Obviously stealthy. And um, you guys already know I, I always, always run this sub a suppressor on my weapon. I just don't like appearing on a mini-map whenever I shoot. And this is going to prevent that from happening. Uh, finally, guys, we're going to be running rapid fire. Rapid fire is going to increase our fire rate, allowing us to kill enemy a lot faster than normal. I mean, so you're going to see a lot of the kills here, guys. They happen like that. In a blink of an eye, man. It's super fast. Uh, the rapid fire attachment here is just going to allow us to get these kills super, super fast. And honestly, man, all of these things combined, the uh, advanced rifling, suppressor, uh, rapid fire, all the perks here, guys, from the Mountain Division, the forage. By the way, we also we could also make a case that we have extended mags. I know you guys are probably thinking, man, you should put extended mags on there. But keep in mind, the forage basic training batch gives us extra magazines. So in a sense, we do have extended mags, guys. Following that, guys, to end this to end this class setup here, uh, the secondary you can use any pistol of choice, any secondary of choice melee pistol, whatever you guys want to use. Um, if you're running a pistol, guys, once again, I don't have it unlocked at the moment, but Definitely, you're going to want to put a suppressor on there. Uh, I, I don't really use my pistol at all, if ever. So, um, I'm, you know, it is what it is for me. Well, as soon as I get it unlocked, I will be putting a suppressor on there. But finally, guys, uh, lethal and tactical is MK2 fragmentation and a flashbang here or British N69. Uh, there, there it is, man. There it is. That is my stealthy run and gun. This is version one. Once again, this is version one. There's going to be other versions of this class setup that I'm going to bring to the channel. And I'm going to explain this in specific detail why I'm using it the way I'm using it. Because I'm telling you guys, you could run a stealthy running gun. And at this moment, I figured out three different ways to run a stealthy running gun. And I got to say, this is probably my go-to. Why? Because I will never, ever run out of bullets. And I'll have extended mags. I'll have a really fast shooting weapon, really accurate weapon, and extended extended damage uh, with the advanced rifling. And also, guys, all the perks of the Mountain Division right now. So I'm telling you, right now, this is my go-to class setup. The main attraction for this is obviously the run-and-gun uh, stealthiness. Like, you're pretty much always off the mini-map. They won't be able to hear you. It's it's just an overall amazing class setup. But then the forage just adds to that because it gives you extended magazines and it also like it also like you don't have to worry about bullets man you could always continuously pick up bullets off the floor off of dead enemies yeah man this is just this is just it for me here guys this is this is the class setup for your boy gray this is how i've been wanting to play this game man all right man so there you guys see i want to show off my little uh csn gray with the black and green uh 
design, I guess, on it, on my weapon here, on my MP40. Uh, I, I'm definitely going to make a better looking one. This one doesn't do it justice. I'm going to make a better looking one here for this uh, MP40. But um, yeah, guys, let's get into some gameplay. I want to show you exactly what I mean. You're going to see in the gameplay, guys, we absolutely turn up. I mean, we die several times. I die a lot. You guys know I'm a running gun. I die a lot, guys. A lot of times it's stupidity. A lot of times it's bullshit. Sometimes it's warranted. But for the most part, guys, like we just turn up. We just light these people up, man. All right, let's get into the gameplay. Once again, guys, if you're brand new, subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications and all that good stuff. And uh, once again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the information. Try this out for yourselves. I'm, I'm telling you, man, this is how I play the game. This is how I've, I've always played Call of Duty. And any Call of Duty that I've played, guys, it's always been that stealthy run and gun. Always a silencer on my weapon, never appearing on the minimap. Uh, uh, blind to like enemy score streaks, uh, set, dead silence, silent footsteps and stuff like that. Scavenger uh, or forage in this case, man, I'm telling you, this is how I play the game. So I feel so, I feel so much more comfortable ever since the update. And once again, man, my KD before the update was a 1.1. I'm hoping to bring that up at least, at least to a 1.5 or at least a 1.5 by the end of the uh, game's life cycle. All right. So let me know in the comment section below, guys, what is your go-to class setup? This one is mine. And how do you guys feel about the stealthy run and gun, man? How do you guys feel about this tactic? This has always been my tactic, my, my preferred way of playing. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the information. I hope you enjoyed the content. Let's get into some gameplay here, guys, and then we'll come back and we'll close up the video. We're breaking their backs. That walked right by me. We need reinforcements. Oh. What? What are you doing, bro? I mean, that's that's what it does, man. They don't know where I am, so that's why you walked right by me. Here we go. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. I gotta breathe. Help me, bro. Like, come on. We're losing the fight. Let's launch this over here. Oops. There you go. Uh, of course, here he comes. Shit. Ooh. So close, man. Jesus. Recon flight concluded. Enemy recon aircraft Yeah, they're coming hard now. They're coming hard now on this side. Let's go. Nice. There you go, buddy. Okay. Uh, uh. Enemy recon aircraft, oh my god, what are we doing, man? Bro, can I have some help? Any help, any form of help, please. And I just down the stupidest shit, man. 16 and 3. Come on, I'm man. I definitely ha I had to be on like a 15 kill streak there or something like that, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come get me. Uh, uh, uh. Recon flight concluded. Sure. <laughs> Come on. Oh my. Help me, bro. Look, guys, where are? Well, why are you always back here, bro? Like, can you guys help me? Like, just stand by my side or something, man. Come on. Enemy counter recon aircraft observed. Too good. 
too good, bro. Oh, behind me. That's on me. I should have known. That's on me. Rookie mistake on me. That's on me. What we do here, man? What is this? Uh, 20, 21? 21 and 6, man. And I died a couple times off of bullshit, but... I mean, you guys are seeing, man. This class setup is just a straight... Like, ah. I feel like I'm home, you know? I feel like I'm back to back to my house, you know? Like, I'm digging it, man. This is, this, is how I, this is how your boy great plays, man. Stealthy, run and gun, bro. Like, never stop moving. Keep pushing. But be, remain off the mini-map. Remain hidden, bro, at all times. Like, I'm digging it, man. All right, guys. So, like I said, there you have it, man. There was the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed the turn up there. I mean, like I'm telling you, man, the team most of the time didn't even understand where I was coming from. Um, I just felt a sense of control out there. I don't know. I can't, I can't go into more detail than that. It's just I felt a sense of control. I felt like I could do whatever I wanted out there whenever I wanted. That's that's how I felt, man. Certain times the bullshit got the best of me, and that's gonna that's gonna happen, especially in this Call of Duty here. The hit detection is a little off at times, but it is what it is, man. But I'm telling you guys, it is a lot of fun. And I I just I like I said, guy, I did a three hour stream earlier, and I was playing like two hours before that. And I just I still enjoy playing this game. Like I don't know, man. That's the first for me. I, I get really tired. I used to get really tired after this, after like an hour of playing before the update. So. I don't know, man. Is is the update going to save Call of Duty World War II? I can't call it right now, but it's looking really good, man. They're doing a lot of things to, that have really impressed me, and I think that they're starting to listen to the community. And you know what? One thing, one thing I will say, guys, we should all be thankful for Fortnite. Everybody should say thank you to Epic Games and the, and the developers over there at Fortnite because Epic Games has been showing all of these other developers and all these other uh, companies that produce video games They've been showing them, hey, this is how the future is supposed to be. There's supposed to be a constant communication and feedback between the developers and the community and, you know, giving the community what they want and t trying things out. Like, if, like for example, like right now on Fortnite, there's like this little cube that uh, it, when, when you throw it on the ground, it's going to build you an automatic fort. You know, like try things out, man. You never know. If it doesn't work, take it out of the game. But anyways, man, I hope you all enjoyed the game. I, I'm sorry. I hope you all enjoyed the gameplay. I hope you all enjoyed the information here. Stealthy running gun is back, man. And I'm just so excited to have this. I'm so excited to have this class set up, man. I'm, man. And once again, guys, like I mentioned, this is going to be version one. Expect version two and three and possibly four and five coming soon, man. All right. So be on the lookout for that, guys, and um, all that good stuff. Thank you all so much for watching, man. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Turn on notifications. All that good stuff, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until the next one, my name is Gray. Peace.